Hey guys, today's video is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me. And um, it's not gonna be like my typical get ready with me, it's just because I'm not gonna show you my outfit because I'm not leaving till later on, like later and later on. So I'm not gonna be just sitting here dressed for no reason. So I just wanted to make this video very relaxed and chilled. I'm just gonna apply my Burt's Bees to my lips. My lips are very dry. Mm -hmm. Before I do anything, I'm just gonna prime my face. I already moisturized with my cream moisturizer. Let me know if you guys want to see a skincare routine for me. Um, my skin has gotten a lot better. I still have like discoloration, but overall, my skin has gotten so much better. So let me know if you wanna see a skincare. But for now, I'm just gonna apply my Master Prime and Blur and Smooth and my Becca Evermatte Pro's Perfecting Primer. And I'm gonna apply this primer all over my face. Then for the Becca Evermatte Pro's Perfector, I'm just gonna apply this in my T-zone area, so like my nose. Really in right here and my chin just a little bit because it still is winter time so I'm not as oily but some oil can peek through especially with the foundation I'm going to use today I'm going to speed through my brows I have an eyebrow tutorial I make sure I link it in the cards and down below For this look, it's going to be very dramatic, it's just going wherever it goes. This is going to be a Patriots inspired look. If you haven't watched my husband's tag, then you might not know that me and my family are Patriots fans. I make sure I link that tag down below if you want to see that. But yeah, there's a game today. And I'm pretty sure we're going to win because Tom Brady is just that dude. We got Gronk out there, got Edelman out there. It's just, it's just going to be a wrap. So I want to do something inspired by our colors, which are red, blue, and gray, and maybe some silver. Last year I did do a similar, not a similar look, but I did an inspired look for last year. And we won, which is also amazing because we won the Super Bowl, but I did do a look. I have it posted on my Instagram. If you want to check it out, my Instagram is down below. I'll try to insert a picture if I have enough time because I might upload this today, which is Saturday. I might upload it today or tomorrow, but if I upload it tomorrow, just commentate down below that we won or whatever the case may be, even though you should be watching it too, if you're a sports fan. I have all my palettes out in front of me, but first I'm just gonna prime my eyelids. I'm going to use this L'Oreal Magic Decrease, which I don't really like. So I'm gonna apply that first. Then I'm gonna just try my Becca Ever Matte Primer as a base because I like to do what I want, and I want to see if it's going, since this leaves my face not being oily, it might help with the longevity of my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to apply it over top of this. So it is very wet. I always recommend you set your primers first. And to set my primer, I always use creme brulee, which is right here, and it's by Makeup Peak. Just going to apply that all over my lids. I'm going to use Coco Bear by Makeup Geek, which is this one. And I'm going to apply that in my outer corner and my inner corner. 
to apply that, I'm just using a Morphe M441. So, what's been new with you guys? I feel like I haven't did a video like this in so long. I haven't talked to you guys in so long because I've just been doing just makeup tutorials. Let me know if you like the type of makeup tutorials that I do, which are usually sped up and there's no talking, just music over it and it's straight to the point. I kind of like tutorials like that because sometimes I'm saying I don't want to sit and watch like a 20 minute video. But let me, let me know what you guys want to see. If you like these types or you like me just doing my makeup and putting music over top. But I'm really excited for this game. I'm so excited. Once my husband gets off work, then the game should start around that time. I'm going to use this blue. It is Indigo by Coastal Scents. I'm just gonna use this bright cobalt blue and apply that below where I applied Cocoa Bear. And to apply that, I'm just using a Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush. So, um, have you guys seen Sherlock Holmes? I'm kind of late on that. Um, I'm actually only on the second season. It's on Netflix. And, um, so far, it is really good. Um, if you like shows or movies that are action-packed, like suspenseful, like movies where like it tr plays with your mind and tricks your mind, you gotta think, like detective movies. Basically, Sherlock Holmes is a detective, basically. He's not a detective, he's not getting paid, but he's, he's kind of like a private detective but it is really good. Benedict Cumberbatch, he's really, he's really a good actor. So I would recommend it if you haven't seen it. I know that they are making new seasons now, which I'm excited for. So the next season won't come out until next year, I believe, but I'm happy that they're still making episodes because Something about um, UK videos or um, UK movies and TV shows, they don't really have long episodes or seasons. Like the seasons are always short and the episode, episodes are always short. I don't know why that is because I, I actually like UK movies because it's just great actors. There's more, to me, I feel like all the UK movies I've seen, there's so many good actors. American movies, it's like, or TV shows, not many, there's not that many good actors anymore. So, I don't know why that is. I don't know, maybe they don't have as much funds as United States. I don't know, but still, I'm happy that they're coming out with new episodes of it. I'm just gonna, t I'm gonna take this more precise brush, which is a Sedona Lace 311. I love this brush. If you have hooded eyelids like I do, small eyelids like I do, this is going to be your best friend because it just gets right in there and it stays. And what you wanna do is just do circular motions back and forth, but you wanna stay controlled. You don't wanna go all over the place. Just stay very controlled and precise, and use a light hand. If you do have hooded lids, try to make this come higher than where your hood is, because my hood is right here, as you can see, and I always apply color above that if I'm doing like a spotlight eye like this, just because I want the color to show. If I was to just keep it on my leg, you wouldn't be able to see anything, so. Now just take in a clean blending brush, and you want to blend those edges. And I want to sweep it. It's okay if it gets in the middle some. Kind of like the way that looks. So make sure you blend the edges. My 
everything to look seamless. I'm just gonna apply some more Cocoa Bear. I'm going to apply this kind of peach, it's kind of peach, mixed between orange and red. I'm going to apply that to my lids, and this is a Coastal Sense Hot Pot in CMO5. And I think I'm. I'm just going to apply that above the blue, just a little bit. I'm just using an angled elf brush and I'm kind of just applying this very roughly and messily right in here where the eyebrows are. So I kind of want this to be blunt. I'm now going to take this dark gray, which is Burnished Brunette by Coastal Scents. And I'm gonna apply that in the inner and the outer corners, but I'm gonna apply that mostly in the crease, so smaller and lower than where I applied the blue eyeshadow. I'm just using that same Coastal Sense brush. I switched brushes, I'm just using an e.l.f. concealer brush. I'm actually just gonna apply this all over my lid in the middle. Take it, take it above your crease too, but you still wanna leave this spot in the middle. Make sure after every application you just reapply colors. center of the lid, I'm just going to use this silver shade. Can you even see that? This silver shade right here. Um, it was in a L'Oreal Duo Hip Studio something. It's called something. I'll make sure I'll, I'll link it down below. I'm just going to apply that on the center of my lips. I'm just going to use a Morphe G10 brush the stiff brush and apply that in the center. I'm going to take this e.l.f. lock and seal, apply a little bit on the back of my hand and some of that silver eyeshadow just to intensify it a little bit because I want it just brighter than this. Now it's just gonna make it look foiled and more metallic. 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 I'm going to reapply the shades and I'm going to blend it out so it looks a little bit more blended than what it is right now. So you just wanna tap it just to blend the shades a little bit more. So it can just blend into the silver a little better. Um, I know you guys leave me great comments and I appreciate them. Thank you guys for over 200 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the love you guys have been giving me. I'm glad you guys enjoy these um, tutorials as well as my hair tutorials, anything that I put out. Um, but I would love for you guys to just leave down below whatever requested videos you want to see on my channel. This, trust me, I have a ton of makeup tutorials that I can do and come out with, but I would love to see and know what you guys want to see from me. So definitely let me know guys.
Off camera, I applied wing liner. I cleaned up all that fallout that was on my cheeks, which was a lot. And I applied these lashes. They're pretty dramatic. I have on Salon Perfect 614s and I have on Ardell Wispies. And I have two sets of Ardell Wispies and then the 614. So I have three lashes stacked on each other because I felt like this was necessary. Like it needed dramatic lashes. So let's just do foundation. For foundation, I'm using my True Match Lumi in N7-8. And I'm mixing that with my Revlon Color Stay in 410 Cappuccino. So I know this look might not be wearable for some people. I personally would wear this outside, but I'm more daring than most. But it's just makeup. I like just having fun and playing and just trying something different. So I just have the N8 and then I just have the cappuccino right here and I'm just gonna mix it together. And also I'm going to explain why I never blend my foundation down on my neck. First off, I have three different shades on my body. My face color, my neck color, and my chest color. So, my face doesn't match my neck and it doesn't match my chest. So, I don't match my foundation to my neck or my chest. I match it to my face. Personally, that's what I like. Some people might say match it to your neck. Some people might say match it to your chest. Personally, for me, I don't do neither. I might match it to my chest if like during the summertime just because I'm a little bit darker. But right now it's winter time so I'm pretty much light. Like, so I match it to my face. So that's why I never blend down on my, on my neck. It would just be a waste of time. If I was to blend this on my neck, it wouldn't even show up. You wouldn't see a difference. My neck is very, it's, it's more than four to five shades lighter, um, darker than my face. So it wouldn't make a difference. That's why I don't do that. So um, yeah, that's personally, that's personally my preference. Everybody has their preference on what they like to do to their skin, so that's what I like to do to my face. So I'm just playing a little bit more because I want this to be full coverage. I want my face to be covered. For concealer, I'm just going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Fawn. And I'm going to just add my Master Conceal in Medium Deep just to brighten it up. And I'm just going to apply it under my eyes just a little bit. everything with my Fit Me powder and 355 coconut. I'm going to bronze up with my CoverGirl bronzer in Ebony Bronze. Oh, and I'm using a Sephora powder brush and the brush I applied before that to set my whole face was an e.l.f. Complexion brush. So, I want you guys to know, I want you guys to let me know if you guys want to see a video on like natural deodorants that I've tried and had the pleasure to deal with 
because I don't know if you guys know, if you've been watching my videos since the beginning, I've been trying to find a more natural deodorant, not a antiperspirant that has all those nasty chemicals in it. So I think I found my match. I think I found one that actually works. And just to let you guys know, I have very potent underarms. Like my underarms are potent. So for this product to be working, I would definitely recommend it. So let me know if you want to see a video on that. Just like a quick run up of the deodorants that I've tried and ones I would recommend. Let me know if that sounds good to you. So even more dramatic, I'm going to contour and I'm using my Black Radiance Pressed Powder and Rich Mahogany. Yeah, I don't really contour anymore, but this look kind of needs a contour. All I do, I just turn it on its side and it kind of just does the work for me. After this, I'm just going to blend everything all together anyway, so. Alright. I'm just taking a Sedona Lace 980 brush and it's pretty much a powder brush and I'm just going to lightly sweep everything together so everything is seamless. For blush, I'm going to use this hot pink blush in 11 Bella Rosa and it's Milani's Bake Blush. I'm going to apply that to my cheeks and I'm using a professional blush brush and I think this is by um, LA Colors, I believe. I don't really use this as a blush brush, but because it is kind of scratchy. It's not very soft. But after you wash it a couple times, it's kind of great. Highlighter, I'm just going to use this eyeshadow, which is Light Apricot by Coastal Scents. So yeah, I love this. I love this eyeshadow as a highlight. So I'm just going to apply that. And as you can see, it has some glistening. It got a glistening cling. So blend it. So I don't want to look crazy. Blend this because make sure you blend it because this will make you look real crazy real fast. To apply that highlighter, I just used a Sigma E40 brush. I love this brush. One of my favorite brush brushes. I have to get more. I love this brush. I'm going to apply Milani's Shadow Eyes in 10 Almond Cream in my waterline just to open up my eyes because since these lashes are so dramatic, my eyes look very, very low. This defining eye brush, it's just an angled brush and apply Cocoa Bear, that first transition color that I used and smudge very low on the lower lash line. It's pretty far down. Take this kind of definer brush and I'm going to replace Indigo. That's the blue shade on this lower lash line, but I'm going to keep it to where the lashes are. Brush and blend it together with Cocoa Bear. Add some pop in 
my in the corner i'm gonna apply shameless by colourpop this is their super shock shadow it just is this gorgeous blue teal just pretty shade and i'm i'm taking a small elf brush to apply that i'm gonna keep this down imprecise at the lower in the corner I think I'm gonna apply something over top of it because it's kind of dark so yeah I'm gonna apply something over top just to brighten this up I'm just gonna apply light apricot the shade I used to highlight with and I'm just gonna apply it right over top of it some mascara this is Miss Manga mascara by L'Oreal and I'm letting this mascara get very clumpy at the bottom I don't know just clump it up let it clump I'm going to apply Kapow by Colourpop on my lips this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you would actually wear this outside. I got my Patriots hat on, representing, ready for this game. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this and I'll definitely see you guys in the next video. Peace.